Hi guys, I'm Reval. This is the first video in my new series, Shortcuts for PHP Storm. So as a web developer, I spend a lot of time every day in PHP Storm. And as a web developer, the last thing I want to do is touch my mouse. I want to know every shortcut possible um, for the operating system that I'm using and for the IDE that I'm using. In this specific case, I'll be using Windows 10 and I'm using PHP Storm 10. So um, what we're going to cover in this series is shortcuts to uh, keyboard shortcuts for PHP Storm and the whole point is I want to prevent having to reach for my mouse and I want to become a faster and quicker developer. So the first thing I like to do is have a clean interface in PHP Storm. I want it distraction free. So um, what we're going to do in this video is just get rid of all the extra menus stuff like that and it's okay if we use a mouse now it's just because this is a one-time setup and once it's done every time you restart php storm or start up php storm everything should be saved and you can then continue to work so let's start get ready let's start to get rid of everything so let's go to view and we can get rid of toolbar so that takes away the top toolbar there don't get to worry because whatever we take away we will have the opportunity to bring back or there will be a shortcut to use the functionality and we go back to view get rid of toolbar buttons great so that's got rid of all the stuff on the sides view status bar now I like to keep the status bar you can get rid of it if you want to but the status bar is just at the bottom here Sometimes it gives us some good updates from the IDE itself, like um, if stuff has completed running or if there's uh, potentially an error. Uh, a lot of the times, you would, if you're working with Git, you should see the branch you want and you'd be able to switch branch and uh, stuff like that just from the status menu. So I think it's quite important to keep. Um, if you don't like it, then you don't have to keep it. Um, that's one of the few things I tend to keep navigation bar so we get rid of that top navigation bar and the side panel here we can just get rid of it by clicking that so um, this looks pretty clean but the last thing I would like to do is go into full screen so that to me is the cleanest I would like to have it um, you know it just it's distraction free it just gives me time to focus on my code and there's no other buttons, unnecessary buttons hanging around. I just get to focus on my code. So, you know, if you don't want to do this, that's fine. But uh, if you're watching, you want to follow along, you want to want to learn, want to get quicker, want to work with less distractions, I highly recommend you do this. So, um, yeah, once you've done this, you can move on to the next video in the series. Thanks for watching, guys.